We're beginning our coverage with Minister Ishwarappa, whose fate hangs in fire and balance at the moment as an FIR has been lodged against him for alleged abetment to suicide in the Santosh Patil death case. Sources have informed uh, India today that BJP top brass may take strict action against Ishwarappa. The minister has maintained he has nothing to do with the case and called the alleged suicide note false propaganda. He remains firm that he will not tender the resignation. Opposition is targeting the Saffron Party, demanded that BJP sack Ishwarappa. Protests were held outside Amit Shah's house, also outside Basavraj Bomai's house, seeking action against the minister. Karnataka Congress leaders, including DK Shivakumar, visited Belagavi to meet the family of Santosh Patil. Patil's family has blamed Ishwarappa for his death, alleged that the minister demanded a commission in a 4 crore rupees contract. Karnataka Minister Ishwarappa and controversy go hand in hand. The outspoken senior BJP leader is now in the eye of a storm after a contractor blamed him for his death. The contractor Santosh Patil was found dead in Udupi Hotel and police say it was a suicide. An FIR has been registered against the minister and his two aides for abetment of suicide after Patil's family said he was the cause of Santosh's death. Sarkar kutte ko illi mata yaavya procedure aagi da, yalla complete aagi da hu. Yaradne do aur yen WhatsApp call hoge to yen yen bichida na yalla do records ho, yalla evidence ho, yen idu do yalla na mobile le idu aagi de. Hmm, a adhik prakar hai aur ila ke auro inno mata aur no yaar lo aarupi ko na arrest maadi la arrest maadi beko. Arrest maadi le lado na body ilin da hoye de la. Ida na the last pay. Santosh Patil had in the past claimed that he was under pressure to pay a 40% commission to the minister to get bills cleared for a 4 crore contract. Ishwarappa, who is Rural Development and Panchayat Minister, had dismissed the charges and even filed a defamation case against Santosh Patil. So far, the BJP government has been backing Ishwarappa, even as the opposition stepped up pressure. First, they have to arrest him immediately take up a case on corruption which has been evident and in the they have given in the entire documentation in the writing in the complaint itself is there why you have not included that section of corruption in the fir specifically categorically mentioned in the complaint given by the brother of this is santosh k party but police I have not registered a case under Section 13 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. The Contractors Association has joined the demand for a probe against Ishwarappa. Pushed to the wall, Chief Minister Bommai might have to act against the former Karnataka Deputy CM. <laughs> Until now, Ishwarappa has been defiant, publicly stating that there was no question of his resignation. I saw The Ishwarappa controversy has cropped up with a year to go for elections in the state, giving the opposition a handle to attack the Bombay government, which has been battling rising communal tension of late. Bureau Report, India Today. We're getting you all the details as far as this row is concerned. <laughs> and Ishwarapa is defiant. He says he's not going to resign. We'll find out more about this in just about a bit when our reporter joins us for the very latest in terms of his fate. Hanging fire at the moment. Will he resign or will he be made to resign? What is the fate of Ishwarapa likely to be as the opposition is now mounting pressure there is going to be action against Minister Ishwarappa that is going to be likely and this is a decision that is going to be taken by the BJP top brass as we've been reporting. An FIR has been filed against the Karnataka Minister just to give you a, 
uh, a brief on and the background on this story. Sources have informed India today that BJP top brass will be taking strict action. The minister has maintained he has nothing to do with the case and called the alleged suicide note false propaganda. He remains firm now that he is not going to tender his resignation. The opposition is targeting BJP, demanding that the BJP sack Ishwarappa. Questions arising on where does the investigation stand as well. One is the graft charge and second is the allegation of alleged abetment to suicide as well. Uh, we'll get your reporters in just about a bit but we're getting some breaking news coming in. We're going straight across to it.